Don't waste your tomato skins, reuse them. And you can add these to flavor soups, sauces, uh, pastas, if you make homemade pasta, you can sprinkle it on your- Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and I am my mother's spark. And this is gonna be a really fast video. So if you are returning here, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope you learned something. So some of you watched my video uh, a little bit ago about uh, canning tomatoes in a pressure canner. And if you remember right, I took all of the skins off and I said I was going to set them aside for later. Well, what I ended up doing with them is putting them in the dehydrator so that they are good and crisp. I just took them out of the dehydrator. I don't know if you can hear them. They just, they crisp. It's just like chips. So we have all of our tomato skins here and what we're gonna do with them is actually make our own tomato powder for seasoning, for sauces, um, to put on chicken if you wanna sprinkle it on your chicken before you bake it, which is really yummy, or um, put it in an Alfredo sauce so that it's more of a tomato flavored Alfredo. Whatever you wanna do, you just, you save your tomato skins from when you're canning and then you dehydrate them. And then we're actually gonna use our mortar and pestle today, which I love using mine. I use it so much. Um, I will link this down below. And um, if you all wanna get one, you can. Otherwise, you can just use an electric grinder and it works just the same. I just prefer to um, do it by hand. You wanna make sure that your mortar and pestle is um, pretty heavy. You don't want a cheap plastic one. Mine is uh, made out of either marble or granite. I can't honestly remember I've had it for so long. And you wanna make sure the inside has some rough, um, some roughness to it because you're using that roughness to break apart whatever you're putting in here, whether it's something like a tomato skin or something along the lines of an herb or a root. So you want to have that weight and that roughness here in the bottom to help you so that you don't give yourself, um, you know, tennis elbow or something trying to grind it down. So we're just gonna put our skins here in our bowl. I'm just gonna kind of squish them in because they're gonna get squished up anyways. And then we're just gonna start beating it down. And obviously make sure you do this <coughs> on a clean surface so that if any jump out, you can just put them right back in. You're really not using a whole lot of elbow grease for the pressure. You want it to, to kind of work itself in there with the weight. And you just keep moving it around so that the roughness in the bottom will keep breaking it up. Some more. And we're going to keep doing this until it's all a powder. So I'll be right back in just a minute. All right, guys. So we have been grinding everything down here for a while. I still have a couple of big pieces, but it's not gonna hurt anything. There's so few of them. So I'm going to pour this into my measuring cup just because it's easier for me to get it into my little jar here. And out of this bowl of um, tomato skins, we got roughly 
a quarter of a cup just about of tomato powder that we can use in sauces and um, pastes and so forth. So we are going to pour this into our jar. Spilling a little bit. There we go. Put the cork in, make sure it's in good and tight, and then this will go on my shelf. So don't waste your tomato skins, reuse them. And you can add these to flavor soups sauces, uh, pastas, if you make homemade pasta, you can sprinkle it on your chicken or your steaks with other seasonings. Um, it's just a good thing to have and not waste. And don't worry about those little bit of um, pieces that are a little bigger because once they cook up, um, you won't even notice them. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Also, check your notifications. I've noticed the people that I watch, the notifications have been shut off lately, um, as well as I have been unsubscribed from some of the channels that I watch often. So if you um, would like to subscribe, please do. Other than that, this is a very quick project to put something else on your shelf. I hope that you enjoyed this video. My name is Christy, and I am my mother's spark. Till next time. Bye, guys.